Lynn from Spring needs irrigation advice. Oh, he's got big problems, Tom. Oh. He was recently given a thousand square foot house in Spring to live in. Oh. Well, from the good. in-laws. Okay. That's a big problem, right? Well, actually. Maybe. Actually, it's like anything else that's free. That's true. It's not going to be free. Len writes, we planned on replacing the carpet, painting, and living there until we found a home to buy. Then use it as a rental property. They think they had this thing wired up. Well, then they started working on the house. And the subfloor was rotten in places. They had to gut the house. They rebuilt some piers. And they noticed water pooling under the house. It would take two to three days to, to dry up. And this is the space. He says he knows that what he needs to do is build up. The, the soil level there to make it run off, right? Mm-hmm. Well, yes. I wasn't sure, he says, what to use to build it up. Six inches. This is, He says it's about a six-inch dip. He says a leveling company said use stabilized soil. Another said use bank sand. Friends then said crushed concrete. Then someone else said use final grade dirt. So Len just wants to know, Tom, what does he put under the house? Out of all of the above, bank sand. That was uh, B. B. It okay. was A, B, C, D, if I remember right. <laughs> okay. So bank sand's a way to go and bank for B. That works. What, what is bank sand? It's just a sand that comes off a bank. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. I'm serious. It comes out of uh, creeks and stuff. Okay. It's, you know, it's silt from, from where you have okay. bayous does, or whatever does, the case would be. Is it because it tends to stick together better to use a bank it is, sand? It or? is a little more... Uh, Oh, it holds itself together. Some sand is real loose and it'll just go all over the place, like play sand, which is real right. real clean. This is not clean. This is more of a dirt sand. But mixture. not like the stabilizer that has Portland in it. Yeah, no, no, no. That'd that be would be a hard way to spot. go. Oh, big time. Okay. Don't do that. Crushed concrete, if you can get it under there, my God, what a, what a job that would be. <laughs> uh, so it probably would work, but don't try to do that kids, one bucket, bucket kids, at a time. Got a project you know, for you. Six inches of that, <laughs> or granite, it. or any kind of stone. But the bank sand's a way to go. And that's what you do when you blow it underneath with a gun machine the same kind of machines they use for blowing oh, for the sand? That's how you yeah you the just sand? blow it under there oh i had a job a long time ago that we had to do that and uh, i hired due west who used to do that i don't think they do it anymore but they had a gunite machine and they would go under there and just blow sand under these pier and beam homes so the the tip is use bank sand but then call a gunite guy to yeah. come out and <clears throat> blow it in under there yeah you don't want to drag it in oh, a man. bucket at a time i just i'm thinking lens oh, going God. <laughs> No. So much easier. So Find see, somebody who's... You see what happens when you yeah. send us your questions at homeshowradio.com? Use that Ask Tom form, and we'll help you find the right tools and answers for your project. Isn't that cool? And we'll answer it just like these videos over here. Ding. They help us out. Subscribe to our channel. 